All right, guys, so we're going to get straight into this next um, part of this build. Today, I'm going to go ahead and put on the oil pump. Um, I'm going to put on the front cover, try to put on the back cover. We definitely going to put on the um, oil pan. We have the Melon high pressure oil pump. So right here, what I'm going to do is see, do I got my ring down in there? Yes, I do. I already have a black ring in here. I know the last one had blue. I think they are like mainly specific for certain types of, um, I guess, applications you're going to use. So on this one, it's got like uh, blue. And the direction told me if you're using, if it comes, your oil pump pickup tube comes with a green one, then you use the blue one on this one. If it comes, if it comes blue, then you use a black one on this one. So mine's just blue. I'm using a black one. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead. I'm going to take some engine oil, put it in here. And I'm going to put a little bit of the red oil in here so we can basically lube up, spin the gears like so as I'm basically priming it for oil. So that's what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and install it to the motor. So right now I'm about to install the oil pump on here. Now the oil pump is supposed to go just like this. But you might have to do some finesse and sliding it in. And boom, just like that. You want to take your 10 millimeter bolts and some Loctite and put it on the thread like so. pop up in the hole all right guys so I got everything bolted down what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin this over make sure there's no spot no binds none of that and to bring it back to top dead center it should be able to line up this oil pump boom let me go around one more time. Hold on. You see? And top dead center. Alright, so I just fixed it. It's dead top center now. Let me put on this oil pump and we should be good to go. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is um, torque down all these bolts down to 26 pounds. I already uh, spun the, the whole timer chain over, so now I'm just gonna torque everything down to 26 pounds. So now everything's been torqued down to 26 pounds of torque. Now I'm gonna put the engine cover on here, and we should be good with that. I'm gonna leave it a little loose because I gotta heat up the, the crank pulley, and I'm um, gonna slap it onto here. So now I'm putting the cover on. I got the gasket for back there. So I'm putting this permanent stuff on. Let's get this first one lined up into the hole. Alright, that's one. So, you know, I'm going to repeat the whole steps going around. All right, so now since I got the cover of semi on here, what I'm going to do next is um, take the sprocket out and um, heat up, heat up that, um, heat up this around here. So that way all I got to do is just slide it on. Voila, it's on there. So, real good for right now. I even got the boat on there. So now, I'm gonna spin this around. Everything should line up. And we should be good to torque all these down next. 
So the website called for 18 pounds. I want 18 and a half. So I'm about to put down this cover. And we should be good to go. Then I can go ahead and spin this bad boy over. And start doing the bottom end. Alright, so let me just testify something. I know they call for 18 pounds of torque. I just want 26. I mean, 18 pounds felt kind of weak, so just kept it six and should be good. 26, so it should be good. Um, let me go ahead and spin this bad boy over and we should be good to go. Since I won't be um, actually putting the... Um, I'm gonna put the gasket on here, but I'm not gonna be torquing everything down because we still gotta pull it back off for us to put the ARP bolts on. But I am going to put a um, put. I am gonna put the oil pan on here. I'm gonna actually hook up the oil pump, pick up two on here, and yes, yeah, so I will make sure we got everything good with that. So I have to worry about that later on. So let me get to this right now. Let me get the oil pan the gasket and um put this on here technically i just want to show you guys you're supposed to put a bead of um gasket maker on this side and on the other side and this is supposed to be flushed as you can see this feels like it's a little high up so i might have to unloosen them bolts drop it down just a little bit because it's un uneven this side is right but this side is completely off and it's going to leak. The same thing with the rear main seal. You have to put some gasket maker on the back of the end too. So the oil pickup tube is going just like that. Take this and push this down on here. All right. All right, guys, so basically I got the oil pan put on here. It's not completely, it's bolted down, but I will be pulling this back off because of, you know, I got to put the um, the bottom studs in, the ARP studs in. So, yeah, I just put this on it for right now so no more debris and stuff can get in there. The, uh, I'm going to put the um, bag back over top of this because I still got, the back plate still not on here and the back of the uh, top of the motor is still not bolted down. So we got to do that next too. So, ta-da! Everything's back up right. Put this oil pan on. Well, this valley cover on here. And I'm not bolting that down yet because I got to still put the gasket and clean all that up around there. So on that note, guys, if you like what I'm doing, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next episode of Low and Slow Garage, where we shall finish off the rest of this motor. By the way, hold on. Let me show you. Since I'm getting this, let's just throw this on there. Hmm. I guess that's the way it goes in there. Woo, Jimmy, boy, Jimmy. Mm, mm, mm. See you guys next time.